so <clears throat> so the talk of whether Brian Howard or now Alyssa Smith is gonna go number one as far as the WNBA draft continues. Um it's really gonna be what the team needs. Um It all depends on what team has the number one pick, what team has the number two pick. And that's really going to determine with how they're going to go. Um, you have Ryan Howard, who's averaging 18.7 rebounds, I think like four assists. And then you have Alyssa Smith, who's averaging 20, 20 points, 13 rebounds basically averaging a double-double per game, and she's worked on her three-point shot. So, it's like, if you got the number one pick, who would you select? Um, I'm thinking in the first two, two to three picks, I'm, I know Atlanta part is gonna, have, Atlanta Dreamer part is gonna have a, a top pick. Um, the Indiana Fever party have a top pick. So, it really depends. Ryan Howard, a lot of things people have been saying about her is that she hasn't come up clutch in the big game so far this season. Um, she had a bad game at Louisville. Anybody who watched the game, you saw that Ryan Howard really wasn't the Ryan Howard that we're accustomed to watching. Getting her shot, rebounding, getting other players involved. Um, Treasure Hunt played pretty well that game. Drianna Edwards played pretty well that game. Jada Williams, she, I mean, Jada Walker had a few good plays here and there. Um... Robin, Ben, she had a few good plays. Um, Jessica Massengill made a couple plays, but it wasn't enough for them to beat Louisville, who's led by um, Heidi Van Leith. Um And then you have Nalissa Smith, who is averaging a double-double. And she's under a new coach this year, being Nikki Collins, who used to be the Atlanta Dream coach. She left the Atlanta Dream to become Baylor's Baylor's coach because Kim Mulkey left to go to LSU. So, people wondered, what would Baylor look like this year? Um, they're off to a pretty good start. Um... But we all know Baylor's team centers around Nalissa Smith and what she's going to do out there every game. She has Sarah Andrews. She has Queen Egbo. Um, I think she still has Captain Bickle, Bickle there. She has Jaden Owens. So I think the difference in them is that Oh, she even has uh, Jasmine Walker to transfer from Alabama. The difference in Ryan Howard and Alyssa Smith, parts their teams would be, I would say that Ryan Howard has a better supporting cast overall. Driana Edwards has up their score and her rebounding and production. Treasure Hunt in her sophomore season is coming along very well. She's showing that she can shoot the ball. She can score the ball. Like, they have her playing, I believe, the four now. The, between, like, the three and the four. She's doing very well. You know, I thought she came in as a um, shooting guard small four. And they have her playing, like, the four position. She, she's coming out of her cell pretty well. Um... <laughs> They also have Robin Ben, who is the transfer from Auburn, and she's, some games she has some offense, some games she doesn't. 
Um, she just got out of foul trouble. Jessica Massengale hasn't really found her offense yet as far as really scoring. She's doing more assisting and defending and rebounding. Um, she's got to get her offense going. That's going to help help um, Kentucky when Ryan Howard doesn't have her scoring. Kentucky needs more offensive weapons other than Ryan Howard. Um, Jada Walker on the bench for a freshman. She's been playing very, very well. I see why they call her Speedy Gonzalez. Um, Drayana Edwards is doing good. Treasure Hunt is coming along. So, these are things you got to consider when you're talking about your star players. Ryan Howard can be off at night, and Kentucky can still win a game. If Drayana Edwards has a big game or Trisha Hunt has a big game, Robin Benton or Jada Walker. Whereas for the, um, Baylor, if Nalissa Smith doesn't go off and have a double-double, there is a chance they may not win that game. Only other player that I know is putting up like big numbers for them might be Queen Ekbo. You know, Baylor is... Really, really centered around Melissa Smith this season. You know, I've yet to see Jasmine Walker really, like, go off yet. I haven't seen Sarah Andrews, like, really, really go off. I'm waiting for them to unleash Jay Knowles. Like, she's a bucket. I remember watching her in the McDonald's All-American game, you know, and I said, wow, she can shoot the ball. UCLA didn't work out for her. Her coming to Baylor, she still really hasn't got a lot of playing time, in my opinion. Like, I don't know what's going on as far as Nikki Collins and and um, Baylor. Y'all need to put Jaden Nolan's out there. You know, she can light it up. As long as she, she gets her confidence and her shooting stroke going, she can light it up. Um... It just really depends as far as when you say number one pick, who you're going to build your franchise potentially around. If it's a team that's in a rebuilding phase. If, let's say, Indiana has the number one pick. Um, they, they, they have Kelsey, Kelsey Mitchell. They have Tiffany Mitchell. You have Daniel Robinson, the veteran. You have Tia McCowan. You have Victoria Saxon. I mean, Victoria um, Vivens. So you have, um, you have some young players. You drafted Kaiser. Um, she played 19 games before taking personal leave, but, you know, middle school was very important. So I look forward to what Kaiser can do this year. They traded to get Aaliyah Wilson from the Seattle Storm in the trade during the draft. So Indiana has a lot of young pieces. Whereas if it's scoring that you're going for, and you're looking for more so a guard forward, but they have a lot of guards. I'm thinking they more so need a tweener, like a small forward, power forward situation. If Indiana's looking for scoring, they're going Ryan Howard. If you're going for a play, a big, then you're going and you're looking the way of Melissa Smith. Um, that's just how that would work. It just determines which team has the number one pick. Um, Atlanta needs a big point blank period. If I'm Atlanta, I definitely would go for Nalissa Smith. Nalissa Smith is a walking double-double. And if she can get her three-point shot to fall, it would be amazing that she would be able to stretch further out shooting the ball. Close to the basket, driving, rebounding, blocking, all that she she can do it all. Um, I think for Ryan Howard, she needs to figure out 
when her offense isn't working, how to still affect the game and help her teammates become better. That would be the only thing negative I could say about her and Howard. Um, and I've, I've seen Ryan Howard play one, one big name game, which would be against Louisville. As far as watching Baylor, I haven't really seen Baylor play a big name game yet. So, it's hard to really say. But if I had to pick right now, as far as my number one pick, it would determine. It would be based off of what I said, depending on the team that has the number one pick. If it's Indiana, if it's Indiana, I would, I, and they're going for scoring because, you know, they, they, they're they a pretty much guard-based team. Because Ryan Howard could probably stretch out to play a little bit of four, depending on the lineup. If you're really going for scoring, I'm going for Ryan Howard. If I'm going for a player that can affect the game on both sides, I'm probably going with Melissa Smith. If I'm the line of dream and the Indiana Fever get uh, Ryan Howard at number one, a line of dream, I'm definitely taking Melissa Smith. Even if you guys weren't going in the way of me and the big, that I would still get her. Like, you, it's a one-way situation with you and Ryan Howard or... Or in Alyssa Smith, honestly.